everybody, thanks for watching this video. Today I want to talk more about the Law of Attraction. A couple videos ago I mentioned that I had started reading The Secret and that I had started applying the Law of Attraction consciously to my everyday life. And let me just tell you how amazing it has been. It's amazing how great you feel when you start focusing on what you want instead of what you don't want. I started seeing changes immediately. I'm so happy and outgoing and bubbly that like I'm almost giddy with it. My whole outlook on everything has changed. I'm happy, I'm bubbly, I've even gone back into my painting, which I haven't done in forever. Creativity is just flowing out of me. I, I just, I can't get over how great I feel. It takes a conscious effort, but it's worth it because the law of attraction is at work whether you are applying it consciously or unconsciously. And if all you're doing is thinking about what you don't want, that's all you're going to get. But when you start thinking about what you do want, you just attract it into your life. It's been a couple of weeks since I've started consciously using the law of attraction and everything has just been coming to me. I'm getting green lights all the time. Nine times out of 10, I'm getting these ridiculously amazing parking spots. It's like nobody's at the store. I love it. And uh, I really wanted the Harry Potter collection, um, the, the original version that I used to have, but all in hardcover. Long story short, I don't have it anymore, but I put out the thought that I really wanted to get it. I managed to find five of the seven books hardcover for $15. Then I went to the store and I just decided to want to use to the used uh, clothing store. Just decided to wander over to the used book section. They had one Harry Potter book, the exact one that I was missing, hardcover, pristine for six dollars, twenty one bucks. I have the entire set except for one book. My brother comes to visit this weekend. He wants to go to a different used clothing store because he's looking for something vintage. I didn't want to go, but he's in town and I want to spend time with him, so I went. <laughs> And I told him, you go look for your clothes, I'm going to go in the used book uh, aisle and check it out. I found the missing Harry Potter book for $2.75. $25, I have the whole series, boom baby, just like that. <laughs> I was ecstatic. On top of everything, I found another book on the Law of Attraction, so I'm just like psyched. And on top of everything, I won $20 on my lottery ticket. I haven't won anything in forever. So good things are coming my way. And it's just amazing. It's just amazing. I think constantly about what I want as if I actually have it. And it feels a little bit silly because you want to tell people all this wonderful stuff that you actually have in your life, but you really don't. But if you, you think it, you believe it, you're going to attract it if you take action on, on what the opportunities presented to you. And I'm absolutely doing that. And at the same time, it really helps you to see areas in your life that you're having trouble with. I can't deny it, I have a huge problem with patience and this is constantly being brought to my attention for me to work on it. When I was at the um, clothing store with my brother, a second clothing store actually, he was still looking for his vintage bomber jacket or whatever it was, um, we kept getting cut off in line. We're not in any rush, but I'm pissed. I mean for days afterwards I would be in a rage every time I thought about it. Now I'm, I'm better. But they kept cutting us off. And the more I complained about it, the more people cut us off. I was like, seriously, obviously I have to learn patience here. Because I told one woman, I was like, hey, you know, you're cutting us off. And she's like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. It was a total accident. And what happened is she backed up and another line became available. And since I'd moved forward, I didn't quite see it. And so she went. And so she left before we did. You know, I was just like, mm, driving me nuts. And also, I am getting stuck behind every single freaking Sunday driver, there ever was in this goddamn city. It's driving me crazy. And just every time I, I, I get a Sunday driver, I'm losing my mind. And then I find, it finally dawns on me, dude, all I'm focusing on is not getting stuck behind these drivers. Not getting stuck. So what's happening? I'm attracting it and I am getting stuck. So clearly I need to start thinking differently in that aspect and also need to work on my patience. So I mean, Tony Robbins said it. You are the one that controls how you feel. I mean, so many people have said it, but I just watched Tony's the other day, and he was just saying, it's up to you. You can choose to feel however you want to feel. If something happens to you and you get upset, I don't care if somebody else caused you to be upset, you choose if you stay upset. You choose if you get upset. Chances are you're gonna react automatically and get upset, but you can change that in a heartbeat. And it's not always easy, but it's worth it. 
if you choose not to make the effort and stay in that rage, that's your freaking problem. You know, and if you want to live like that, go for it. But that's what you're attracting into your life. I mean, this is the pep talk I'm giving myself, right? When I'm talking in the mirror, this is exactly what I'm saying. I feel like I'm talking in the mirror right now. I'm just like, hey, you're upset. You're going to get more of this stuff. So it's just been really incredible. You guys have to read up on the law of attraction. You have to practice it. The manifestations are insane. The more I think about things, the more they are magnetically drawn to me, good and bad. And I'm just like, I'm super giddy half of the time. And then kind of negative the other half and I'm constantly every second that I can and that hopefully it would be every second paying attention to what I'm thinking and the minute that I see that I'm negative I switch that always over and over and over again it makes you conscious of what you're thinking of how negative you're thinking and why you're getting what you're getting in your life I mean I am focusing on the life I want as much as I can and I'm just going with it. I'm taking all the opportunities I felt the urge to paint the other day I just laid out my stuff and just started painting and it just like, it just, it's just, oh, it's so amazing. And I was talking to my, uh, my friend who's actually my boyfriend's sister-in-law and was mentioning the paintings and she's like, oh, hey, like, what do you do? So I showed her a couple pictures and she's like, can you paint stuff like this for my new house? I'm like, yes, yes I can. Cause I love having my artwork hanging in people's houses or anywhere because it's just, I love, I love one of a kind art. Like my art is all over my place. Um, and it just baffles me that people go to the store and pay like 30 or 40 or more for a reproduction. Oh, an original. Anyways, so the, I mean, there's an opportunity right there to have my art hanging in somebody's house. So I'm just like, thank you. <laughs> it's like amazing. It's like a dream. So I'm really excited. Uh, and that's uh, what's going on. So the law of attraction, guys, it is at work all the time. Use it because it's working either way. You either bring good stuff in your life or bad stuff. And trust me. <laughs> You want the good stuff. I'm going to turn that $20 lottery ticket into a little number with a lot more zeros. So I should say a bigger number, not a little number.